Hello everyone, with the upcoming cultivator update, or farming 2.0 as many would call it, many are going to be confused with how the watering system works in Rust, so I'm going to walk you through each water component, show you how they work, how much they cost to craft, and exactly how useful they are. First of all, we are going to look at and learn to use all of the new and added water items such as the hose tool, fluid combiner, splitter, fluid pump, water pump, and water purifier. Then we will take a look at the old items that now have more uses in games such as water catchers. Let's jump right in and start. First of all, we've got the hose tool. Quite simply put, this tool will be used to plumb together water components. Connecting the hose to any input-output toggle in a water item will create a link between the two. The hose tool is a default BP. It will cost two high quality metal to craft and you only ever need one for all your watering needs. Using the R2 button or the right trigger on the Xbox will connect the hose tool to any toggle you're looking at. Pressing L2 or left trigger will clear any connections you have made. R1 or right bumper will bring up the menu that allows you to change the color of the hose. Every item from this part onwards can be purchased at either the bandit or outpost shops. Fluid combiner, this item is used to combine more than one water source. It does this by taking three water in toggles and combining them into one water out toggle, as you can see in this demonstration. This item will cost 75 metal frags to craft and 20 scrap to learn. Fluid splitter. This item is used to split one water input source into three output sources. And it does this by dividing the total input amount by three. The same way a splitter does for electrics, this item will cost 75 metal frags and 20 scrap to learn available on the tier one workbench. Fluid switch and pump. This item is used when you're moving water upwards, like up to a second floor of a farm. See, liquid in rust works the same as it does in real life and it won't run upwards, always downwards. So if your water pump is located at a higher height than the location you want to take water to, you will need one of these. To use it, you need to place it down on the wall, ceiling or foundation. Get your wire tool and take power from your power source, power out toggle and plop it into the power input toggle on the liquid pump. Now you need to get your hose tool and take the water from the water source, water output toggle, and plumb it into the water input toggle on the pump. Then you take the water output toggle and plumb it into the chosen item such as a sprinkler or water barrel located on the roof for example. This item costs 150 metal frags to craft it's located on the tier 1 workbench and will cost 20 scrap to learn. Water pump, not to be confused with the little fluid pumps. These are able to go in either fresh water or salt water. Its job is to sit in a pool of water and suck it up to move it on to another location, such as storage tanks, filtration systems or even into a farm. They use 5 electricity to power them up and when doing so, they generate 12 water. It's rather simple to use. You place it down into a pool of water like this, then take power from a power source and wire it into the power in toggle located on top. You now need to plumb it into something using the hose tool. For example, this water tank. Go over to the water pump and locate the water output toggle. Connect your hose tool and then connect it to the water in toggle on the water barrel. They cost 250 wood, 200 metal frags and one gear. It also costs 75 scrap to learn in a research bench and it is available on the tier 2. Sprinklers. This item is used to spray water onto crops located around it. Each sprinkler will use 2 milliliters of water every second. The ideal placement is one sprinkler per three crop planters and it's best to place them in this position. They will cost 75 metal frags to craft and to be learnt 20 scrap located on the tier 1 workbench. Next up is the water purifier and just like the name states this item purifies water. If you're located next to the open sea and don't have access to fresh water 
This bad boy will be your best friend. To use it, first you'll need to power it with at least five power. On the side over here, that's where you'll find the power input toggle. Take the power from your chosen power source and wire it into the purifier. In the top of the black barrel, you'll find a water in toggle. Plumb in your dirty salt water source and then at the bottom of this blue barrel, you will find a water out toggle which feeds your clean water. So then plumb this into your sprinklers for your crops or water barrels for drinking. Located on the tier two workbench, this will cost 300 metal frags, 20 cloth and 100 wood to craft and 75 scrap to learn. Now onto the old items that now have more uses. Small water catcher. This method of getting water is not suggested by me at all. It can be rather inefficient and cost a lot I say this due to the fact that the water output varies from 3 to 23 milliliters per minute depending on the in-game day, time and month. They also take up a lot of space as you'll need many of them to even power a sprinkler. These can be placed on the ground or on your player built structures such as roof. To craft this item you will need 100 wood, 50 metal and 1 tarp. To learn it you will need 20 scrap and it's found on the tier 1 workbench. Large water catcher, just like the its little brother, this method is not suggested. It takes way too much space and cannot be placed on player built structures. So you have to place them scattered around the outside of your base. The large water catcher generates 8 to 68 milliliters per min, depending on the in-game time, day and month cost 500 wood 200 metal and two tarp to craft 75 scrap to learn and is located on the tier 2 workbench last but not least is the water barrel this item is used to store any spare water you may have collected it can hold up to 20,000 milliliters of water and has a water in and water out toggle to allow you to pass water directly through it. To craft this item you will need 250 wood and one tarp. It can be learnt for 20 scrap and is located on the tier 1 workbench but is often found in barrels around the map as a blueprint. Now that's everything to do with the watering system in Rust, I hope this helped you along your journey to becoming a farming legend in Rust. If it did, consider dropping a like, a comment and maybe even subscribe. Also check out this video at the end here where I took over an island in Rust. Until the next one, peace.